everyone, it's Jen and I am here to share with you a quick Dollarama haul. I ended up running to two of the Dollaramas locally to me with one time with the kids and one time without and picked up a few goodies and I wanted to share them with you. So I'm going to flip the camera around and take a show you inside the bags and what fun things I ended up purchasing. There's a mixture of Halloween and non-Halloween items in here, but I think hauls are always fun to share, so I wanted to share in the, I guess, excitement. <laughs> okay, first bag we have, I can't remember some of the things I bought. Oh, this, I thought this was absolutely beautiful. It is a week at a glance notepad. It's a weekly planner. And I thought this would be great to have on my desk just to kind of each day write what I want to accomplish. And then I can always transfer these items into my planner. So this big floral print is not throughout, which would, because it would kind of defeat the purpose. Um, it's just the blocks for the days of the week. So that was $2.50. I have this beautiful pencil holder in this really pale pink and has flowers all over it. Um, this was two dollars and I am planning on using this in Madeline's bedroom makeover that I am doing for the fall 2017 one room challenge on my blog. So I'll make sure to leave the link to my blog down below and you can check it out. So this is just a random purchase. Uh, we don't have a hose on our sink, so I'm hoping this will work. It was $3, and I'm going to attach it and see if it works. And I'll let you know down below if it does, if it's a good buy. Oh, oh. oh. random purchase, arrow bar. Totally for me for a treat tonight. So bag number one is finished. On to bag number two. This bag. So this purchase, my children were with me and they love Scooby-Doo. So when they saw this Scooby-Doo and the gang spooky snacks recipes with an eerie twist, they asked me right away if we could get it. So I thought it was cute and maybe we'll do a video on us baking some of these treats. It comes with some cookie cutters, bat, a moon, a ghost, and a, I guess that's supposed to be for the Scooby Snack. And it also includes, let's see it says here, a 48 page recipe book, piping squeeze bottle with two nozzles and four cookie cutters. So this is for the icing, there's the um, nozzles and the cookie cutters and there's the book. So I thought it was sweet and the kids will enjoy making some of these recipes like there's one apparently for bat cookies googly something pretzels googly eye pretzels there how cute are they so we will uh probably do a video on it but leave me a comment down below if you think that would be an interesting video okay and here oh we have some pumpkins these were three for two dollars i believe yeah, three for $2, and these are for a DIY project that I have coming up. Oh, Connor picked this up. He threw this in the cart. It's just a little table hockey ping pong kind of thing he wants to play. So it's only $1.50, I think. $1.50. Uh, oh, these are erasers, but if you love American Girl or like American Girl like we do. These look like they would be the perfect sandal flip-flop for either the Welly Wishers or the 18-inch American Girls. So I am going to try these out. We picked up two of them and, and if they don't work for $1.25, I mean, it's okay. We'll use them as erasers. So we have Disney Princesses and Anna and Elsa. Then this was $1.50 and it is another kind of pad but I loved 
the print, the the uh, writing is beautiful, and the floral in the corners, I just couldn't leave it. I thought it was really pretty. I don't know how practical it is, but it's beautiful. <laughs> and something else in here. Oh, these, I thought these were neat. Paper Mate, oh, I can't talk today. Paper Mate Ink Joy pens, but they have the styluses at the end. I thought that was neat. So in purple and green, pretty, and they were $1.50. What else? Oh, we have another bag over here. Uh, some more pumpkins for my DIY project. They were $2. These here, uh, adhesive reflective safety patches for the kids for Halloween night, $1.25. Mittens. You stock up now because they sell out, folks. $1.50 for two pairs, and they fit Madeline's hand really well in Connor's, so I picked him up too and her up too. They were, yeah, $1.50. I don't remember if I said that. $1.50 for two. Then these cleaning gloves, I thought they were really cute, and they were $2.50. The ones that I saw at Winners were more expensive, but they were also too big for my hands. And I thought this will make cleaning a little more enjoyable to have these, and I really like the pink print. And then lastly, inside here, I needed something to put all of our Halloween candies in, and I thought this was a fantastic deal, if I can get in here. The Dollarama had these embroidered, um, flexible kind of felt bins for $4. This one says ghostly goodies and it has an embroidered ghost on it. But what I like about it is I'll be able to set it there, well, wherever we set it, with the snacks. But when I'm packing for next year, it it's bendable. It's not like the plastic ones that are like set in the way it needs to be, like you can't bend it. So it takes up a lot of space when you're packing. So that is it, that's everything that I picked up at the Dollarama. I honestly have no idea how much I spent, but like I showed all the prices for each of the items that I did purchase today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you could give it a thumbs up if you enjoy hauls, there no, and I'll be able to do more haul videos. And if you have a moment, it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit that red subscribe button down below. And, um, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to it to receive notifications when I am posting new content. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care everyone. Bye.